Welcome back to Four Faces. Let's talk about Khalif. Yes, the female boxer who won the gold this year of 2024 in Olympics in Paris. Yes, let's talk about this because let me just make this clear. She, Khalif, she's a female, period. Point blank in the discussion, she's a female, right? A father said it, a daddy said it, her mommy said it, and here's a picture of her when she was a little girl. So let's get that out of the way. So she definitely is a female. So the question becomes, you know, a lot of people, let's get the let's get the elephant out of the room. Why do she look the way she look? Why does she look have a lot of male structures and male features as far as looks? Not I'm not I'm not talking about her sexual organs. I'm talking about as far as her look is. I mean she have a strong look. Um it's very simple. She produced te- she produced testosterones. That's it. She produced it. And now with that being said, women do produce that as well as men. Men produce obviously much more. Women produce very little of it. In her situation, she's producing more than a, a average woman would produce. But nevertheless, she's still a female. She was born a female. She didn't get no sex change, so cut the nonsense out and cut the bully in because it's ridiculous. So the question is, why did this? Why did this come up anyway? Well, before we get into that, let's take a look at her boxing history. So she's been boxing for a long time. My dad said she wanted to box since she was a little girl. So she's been wanting to do this all of her life, but. As far as her total box fights are concerned, we're talking about non-professional fights, um, and as well as fights on, you know, you know, you know how they do. They just add fights in there, just get the big total. So they got this 56 number, total fights 56, 47 wins, seven of them by a knockout, and she got nine losses. So you can see, you know. She's not like, you know, people like, oh, she's overly strong. She man, like, she's not knocking people out. If you have 56 fights and out of and out of 56 fights, you got 47 wins, right? And then you only have seven knockouts. She's not knocking people out. Like, you know, like, like, you know, it's not like, oh man, you know, like she's knocking people out. She's not. She's winning, you know, and she got the goal. She won that goal, which is a huge accomplishment. But the problem is people want to say she won that Olympic gold medal because why? She's not a female. She's a man. Because why? Her levels are high, right? And then they make up these mockeries of her and saying, you know, the YouTube channels that don't know the facts. And and you got people on the TV and all this news and, and you just see the biasness, the I mean, it's just, it's just horrible how people treat people without learning what happened. The problem is, like I said before, by the way, subscribe, leave a comment below. The problem is people are very lazy-minded. They are lazy-minded. Now, outside of her walking in the street, but naked, to prove to everybody that she's a female, which she should definitely don't have to do, you know, it's crazy that people just go with the first narrative that comes up. Because it is a funny thing. Because the girl that she beat in Olympics and got that gold from, she's like, "Oh, I was never, I've never been hit like that by any female." And all of a sudden, everybody, "Oh, that's a man. That's a man." Come on, man, cut the nonsense. Cut the nonsense. It's crazy. It's just unbelievable how people think. And what people have been doing is they've been basically cyberbullying her and calling her a man and all these names. I even hear some prominent. You know, stations kind of surprise, and and even people that you you know you come across that you know, oh that's a man. You know, how could they let a man go in there and fight? And uh, you know what's going on? I mean, it's crazy. So, the, so the next question is this: Where did all of this nonsense come from? Well, it came from, and who should be surprised? It came from when she won some boxing matches in China against a Chinese person and against a Russian. So they felt there's no way in the world, because as you know, Russians, you know, and Chinese, and you know, I'm just I'm keeping it real. Go take the history yourself. You can see they disqualify her. But nevertheless, she she won about 
a bout against a Chinese boxer in Republican of China. And then they came out and said, oh, no, 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 your levels are too high. You you must be a man. You got excellent. You know, what type of nonsense is that? And then Russia, then then Russia, when she beat a Russian, the Chinese said, oh, no, 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 don't worry about it. We're going to disqualify for that as well because, again, she's a man. <laughs> like, 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 you know what I'm saying? And then this is the dumbest. Then the IBA, IBA, the IBA president come out and said, oh, yeah, we disqualified because the DNA test proved that she had an XY chromosome. Yeah, they said she had an XY chromosome. But then it finds out, this is all This is all the madness. Then they find out that, oh, they didn't really do the test right. And that test was messed up. So then they got an independent test and find out, oh, no, no, she's a female again. I mean, like, what is nonsense is this going on? This is the stupidity that we live in. Yes, she's a female. Look at the picture. She is a female. She's a, was a, she, st- she was a little girl. Now she's a grown woman. Like, cut the nonsense out, man. This is crazy. Stop being lazy-minded, people. Go out there and get the true information. This is the biggest problem we have in this world as a whole is finding out that later on people are doing things to justify their own selfish end. This is Four Faces. Please subscribe. And, yes, Khalif is a female, a female boxer who has won a gold medal. In a conversation, peace, we'll talk.